Good day guys, Austin here, and well, welcome to part 3 of the Megacade. Um, if you've been keeping in close tabs on this, then basically you will know that for the last couple of weeks I've been unable to release a video. Basically I've got no end of fucking technical issues going on, and also real life to contend with. So I do apologise gents, and ladies of course, but um, well, you know, real life takes precedence. And... The good news is that I'm here now, and hopefully, for the foreseeable future, we should be all on track. So, <laughs> well, let's get stuck into this video anyway, get this sorted out, and then hopefully I can smash out a few more. But for this video, right, what we're going to be looking at is, we're going to be actually adding movies to your retro pie. So, so far in part one, we've figured out uh, the parts that we're going to need to actually get this up and running. Part two, we looked at the games. There's still some way to go with the games. We need to get them configured properly. We need to get the theme looking well. We need to actually get the controller working with all games. And I need to show you how to set up certain uh, consoles or computers within the retro pie. Because as you may have noticed, if you've been adding all the ROMs, some of them do need a little bit of tweaking to get sorted out. I've done all that. However, I need to show you how <laughs> but because it's been so long i want to give you some more media so today we're focusing on giving you all the movies and all the tv shows that have ever been made uh straight to your retro pie free of charge all you need to do is follow my lead and we'll be up and running also if we've got time today to be honest i don't think we have because i want to smash out a few videos um we're going to be adding live tv to your retro pie that's basically every channel from around the world with a tv guide um straight to your retro pie or straight to your mega kid or your raspberry pi whatever the fuck you want to call it uh all free of charge you know no setup fee every channel in the world terrestrial normal digital premium pay-per-view everything streamed to you but that's only if we've got time if not we'll leave it till the next video but for now let's actually get this motherfucker set up because i've done enough waffling like i normally do let's actually get this show on the road right first off then you need to obviously boot up your raspberry pi okay you'll be greeted with your retro pi front end what you need then is to navigate to let's have a look you need to navigate to uh retro pi the retro pi menu open up the retro pi menu go down to uh retro pi setup give it a while to boot up and do all its jasm for jizzle uh and then what you need to do with the keyboard is to navigate to uh, experimental packages option 4 and press enter once you're on there uh, navigate all the way down keep on going all the way to Cody which on my version is 253 or 53 or whatever it is you want to call it it's basically Cody install and press ok on that now that will take you about 10 minutes to get up and running uh, basically it needs to download, depends on your internet to be honest, it needs to download, get itself installed and once complete that will end up on the, uh, what's it called, on the ports list. Uh, in later videos, once we start getting all the RetroPie stuff figured out, what we'll actually do is I've got a nice little logo and layout that goes along with the theme and we'll actually incorporate the Kodi um, front end into the actual main menu of RetroPie so you don't have to navigate into ports and go into sub menus it, you can launch it straight from the actual main menu um, also the Kodi once we've got it all installed it will be running with your keyboard because we need to actually configure it to a joypad but for now I just want to get you guys sorted out and get you up and running and booming with all your movies so basically you can watch all your Mad Max or whatever the fuck it is by the time you watch this video which has been latest releases right so once that's done you need to open up Kodi like I said it will go into your uh, ports menu open that up and you will be greeted with something similar as this right as I said you have to use your keyboard at this point I will be configuring it so you can use your joypad at a later date but for now I just want to get all the basics set up so basically what we'll have by the end of this is the basic setup of all the games and then the basic setup of your movies uh, this is the vanilla the bog standard piece of shit theme that comes with Cody formerly known as XBMC uh, those of you and I'm sure almost 99% of you will be familiar with this kind of layout. 
and well, some of you may already know uh, some of the best features to do this, some of the best plugins, some of the best workarounds. But I'm going to show you now what I use to do certain, well, to get my movies, to get my TV shows, to get my live TV, and all that kind of good stuff. Again, we will be progressing this on later videos, but for now, let's get the main one set up. So, first things first, what we need to do is get a, what we call in the, t in the field of uh, XBMC or Cody, is a repo. Uh, a repository. Repositories are basically, I don't know, how can we put this into a metaphoric context? Uh, let's say iTunes have got an i iStore. Uh, you can go onto the iStore and you can press on your iPhone, you can press on a game or a app and you click on it, you say, do you want to download it? It says yes, it's done and it installs and it's all done for you. Now this is what repositories do, basically they're like a little store but obviously you're not having to pay for it. Well some you do, but the ones that I'm going to show you, you don't have to pay. Um, yeah, so it does it all for you, it saves you going to websites, installing stuff yourself, writing scripts and all kinds of shit, it does it all for you. Right, so let's actually fucking do this. First things first then, with the keyboard, navigate with the cursor keys, left and right, go all the way down to system go into file manager so you press down to go into the secondary menu press enter file manager once you're in there you want to add a source so you press enter on the add source by the way I'm showing you this on my PC um, for some fucking reason my internet is not allowing me to stream from a Pi so I'm not gonna do it from a mobile phone again because it's fucking dog shit <laughs> so Basically, I'm going to do the exact same setup on my PC. It's exactly the same. The only thing that may be different is you may see um, extra files or roots or directories within there. The actual setup of everything will be identical. So, enough of the waffles again. Let's actually fucking do this, eh? Right. You'll be greeted with this first off, where it says none. You want to navigate to the box that says none. Click enter. Then, what you want to put is HTTP, uh, is it colon, semicolon? Basically, the dot above the dot. Uh, forward slash forward slash uh, oh fucking hell let me remember this um, S R P Sierra Romeo Papa uh, dot N U hopefully that <laughs> that is correct look at that it's been some time since I've done this click on uh, enter then go down to the bottom and basically this repository is called super repo you can call it what the fuck you want to be honest but I'm gonna call it super repo because that's the name of it super repo um, click on OK and that should now be tickety boo so what we can do now is exit out of here now word of warning while I'm setting this up my fucking internet is dog shit and you know the Raspberry Pi is very responsive when it comes to XBMC. However, you will be limited by your internet as to how fast things move on this. Now, the minimum that you want to be looking at is about 4 megs. And to be honest, that's about the standard for, you know, year 2015. Unfortunately, I live in a pauperish fucking residential area, which barely manages to get 200 uh, kilobits per second. So this leaves me with a very slow uh, functional XBMC no matter what program I use but for, hopefully for you guys this will be a lot faster and I will show you workarounds so you can set it up if you have got a slower uh, broadband connection but enough we'll get into that in a second okay so basically what we've given the uh, experience here the Cody so far is the uh, repository now what we need to do is actually grab things from that as long as it's worked that is so go into system itself scroll down to add-ons and hopefully uh, we should have this up and running so install from zip file and yes there we go basically the super repo should have appeared there and if everything's worked correctly when I click on super repo yes it will end up with various builds for the super repo now I'm using helix um, Basically, because you're doing a real-time uh, repository, it will show you the real-time various builds of um, what the fuck's it called, Cody or XBMC. Uh, if you have uh, 
done this at a later date, then obviously the various builds will have changed. Like I believe uh, Isengard is the next one, that's the beta build. However, the stable build which I've just downloaded is the Helix build. Now I'm sure it will be the exact same build for you guys that's on the uh, Raspberry Pi. However, if you are stuck and you don't not sure what kind of build you've got, come out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. System info. Jesus, I'm going crazy here. Now, you see in the bottom right hand corner where you've got Cody 14.2, uh, and then it's got the date on the right hand side. Basically, all you need to do is uh, Google that, and that will show you what build you have got going. And then when you go to the, uh, what's it called? System, add ons. install from zip super repo and then you can choose whichever build you've got jesus christ that was like freaking pulling teeth finding out that information <laughs> right okay then back on track helix uh what do we need to do uh i want to install all repositories for uh, sorry all stuff for, for helix so now that will now start downloading all kinds of stuff and I will get some pop-ups in the bottom right hand corner notifying me that Super Repo has been enabled and maybe some others. Um, right, so that is done. Now what I need to do is actually uh, get add-ons. So can I do it from this? I'm not sure. Yeah, I can. So basically now I can go from get add from the zip. I can now go to get add-ons. I can then go all the way down to uh, Super Repo. Now we're actually going into what's available from that repo. And then we can choose what type of add-ons we want to be going for. Now, as I said, we're going to be going for the movies. So what I want to go into is video add-ons. And these are all the video add-ons available for you. I mean, you can fucking do this at your heart's content. Some of them are shit, some of them are very good indeed. Um, there's new ones released fucking almost every day. Some of them are better than others. However, I've got my little favourite list. I'm going to share it with you. I'm sure that most of you who are experienced with uh, either XBMC or Cody will know, well, most of the ones that I'm going to be showing you anyway. But, you know, I might give you a bit more information that you weren't aware of. So, first off, I want to be installing Genesis. This is going to be my hub for my um, TV shows and my movies. So, install that. As you can see, if it's all going tickety boo, you should have the little downloading thing going on and the percentage of how much it is downloaded. Whilst that's doing what it's doing, you can go through here and do all kinds of stuff. Now, as I talked about, let's come out of there because it will sort itself out in a second and tell me when it's actually installed. Um, yeah, while it's doing all that kind of stuff, what I'm actually going to do is go into system. I'm going to go into appearance and I'm going to change this fucking skin because it pisses me off. Um, go over to get more. I hate the default skin. It's disgusting. It makes me sick. <laughs> um, you should have a list of all the ones that's available. That roll, bellow, that's pretty uh, box standard also. And there we go, that's that installed anyway, whilst I've been messing around looking at these skins. Uh... Tell you what, I'm just going to do it on Nox for now. Right, that will install in the background and when it's done it will tell me do you want to switch to that skin. For now, let's do it in the background. Okay, so, we've now got our video plugin set up. Uh, Add-on, should I say. And there, as you can see in our video add-ons, we've got Genesis. So, let's click into here. And as you can see, basically you've got your movies, TV shows, your channels, uh, tools, and all that kind of stuff. Now, 
best things to use this for is movies and TV shows. Don't bother about channels because they're pretty shit on here. Uh, My Genesis, that's basically to sort out all your settings and stuff. I'll be showing you how to tweak this in a second anyway, all the settings. But I just want to give you, you know, an overview of, you know, how this is working so far. So, say for example, movies. Now, this is where my internet starts to mess all this up. Uh, let's have a look then. Uh, people watching. Come on. See, I told you my internet is fucking shocking. Now, normally covers and all kinds of information would be loading up at this point. However, my internet is shocking and it will take forever and a day for it to uh, actually download all this kind of stuff. But for you, with normal internet in the big wide world, you will have almost instantaneously you know art of some sort sorted out this time and this is just the default skin with the default settings um, I will be showing you how to actually make this a lot more well desirable to look at I suppose there we go basically it's trying to install all kinds of stuff along with the theme that I've just been downloading plus all the art that we're just going along with now and all these add-ons that I've just enabled okay now it's starting to sort itself out a little bit okay something that you can do is as you're perusing through in this theme which is the box standard one ah here we go would you like to switch to this skin yes I would So all this is doing now, now that that theme is just installed, is now switching to this theme. Yes, I would like to keep this change. Okay, as you're navigating through all this kind of stuff, as you can see, nice art, tells me all about what kind of stuff that's going on. But you can change this. If you click left off the screen, and instead of choosing list, you can go through all kinds of setups here to give you different looks. Powell, yeah, nice one. I like the um, has it gone? This kind of one, as long as this is the one that's got the uh, pop up, has it? No. And that's not bad though, but the problem is that this theme hasn't given me much information, so I want to change that, because I like to know what the fuck's going on. It's not giving me any pop-ups, giving me any information. Oh, info panel off, that's fucking why. Jesus, I'm such a noob. Sorry guys, it's been so long since you've been doing all this stuff, and it's uh, <laughs> like pulling teeth watching me sort it all out. Okay then, so now we're actually getting our theme sorted. Uh, loads of movies going on. This is basically the most popular movies that everybody's watching at this time. So you've got a good selection here. I mean, some of them are a bit old, but if you want to play one, all you need to do is click on it. Again, my internet's fucking slow. Basically, what it's looking for now is a load of links to link me to somewhere to stream it from. So now, if everything's worked tickety boo, it should give me a big long list of uh, various places to watch it from. So then all I need to do is scroll down, click on it, and I can watch it from that location. Come on. And I see just loaded up a 1080p one as well. And bearing in mind that my internet is shocking, it's either going to be very slow to uh, load up. Yeah, look at the buffering. Sorry guys, I'm such a fucking noob at this at the moment. It's been a long day, long, long day. Let's actually exit out of it and one that's a normal one. Uh, I'm going to have to go down to medium quality to be honest. Medium quality. Let's see if this one works. No, no stream available. I'm actually going to show you a way I don't even need to do this. Here we go. As you can see, it's working. 
and terrible quality because of my uh, internet. So there you go. I don't want to show too much because I'll probably get fucking whoever made this film saying that I'm <laughs> ripping the video off. Uh, but yeah, you know, you always got to do is choose whatever quality depending on your bandwidth. Most of you, to be honest, it's 2015 for fuck's sake. You should all be able to sort yourself out with uh, at least HD, unlike me, or uh, 1080p. There you go. Um, there is a way to actually bypass choosing it in the first place and just going straight to the video, which is. Um, do, 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 do. Going into video again. As you can see, everything has now changed because I changed my. Um, what's it called? My theme. Let's come out of here. Go back to the main menu. Change this fucking layout as well because it looks like dog shit. Icons, okay. Tools, I believe it's in. Uh, settings, general. Okay then. Appearance. Uh, basically, you can change the, th the theme of this app. Obviously, you can tell that the app is a bit different. So, I don't know. Let's have a look. See what kind of themes we got going on here. Okay. Hopefully that should now change its theme somehow. But the main thing I wanted to show you is under playback, I believe it is. There we go. Max quality. So, what it's doing is, if you've got any experience from actually, uh, I don't know, watching films online and things like that, some of them are very fucking annoying. Some of these sites that you go to. They have a thing called captures, where basically you have to, I don't know, write in a word before you can watch the film. Now that's all well and good when you're just on a normal internet. However, when you're in front of the TV and all you want to do is watch your film, it's very fucking annoying to pull out your keyboard and have to write in, I don't know, four trees because it wants you to write it before you watch your film. You know, it sounds very tedious, but it's fucking annoying, trust me. Uh, so what you can do is uh, filter it so it doesn't use the captures. So I don't want to use capture so it's not done. I don't want to use 1080p on mine because my internet can't handle it. I'm going to keep it at 720 because it's borderline. It may stutter, but you know, mine should be all right. You guys, if you've got anything, you know, four megs and over, then you should have no problem with either of these. Um, but that's the way it is, to be honest. Now, the ones that I was on about, instead of looking at the big long list, if you've got an okay internet, now this is only if you've got, I would say, 4 megs and over, if you've got that as your basic bandwidth for your internet and it's, you know, a reliable connection, then what you can do is uh, press this, autoplay. So instead of giving you a list of um, all, you know, the places that you can stream from, what it'll do is it'll choose the first highest quality working stream and just play that rather than going down the list and choosing which one whichever one you want basically I don't care where the fuck I'm watching from I just want to watch the movie so by doing autoplay it's doing that now because I'm doing that I don't want to enable 720 because I know for my shitty internet it won't it'll just load one up and it'll buffer forever um, I also want it to play autoplay library uh, yeah resume playback and playback info yeah go on why not uh, basically if there's certain places that you don't want to use you can basically say no I don't want to use these ones and untick them but I just leave all these as standards these should be fine don't fuck around with anything around here because to be honest for the basic setup which you've all got it should work perfect okay so now press OK and now, hopefully, when I go in to watch a movie, let's change these views. There we go. Now, when I go to watch a movie, basically, also, when you are changing the views, they will stick for that menu. So each time you do it for that menu, it should stay like that the next time you open it up. See, I changed the menu before for the, um, I don't know, the uh, 
most popular movies. So when, if I went back into that, it would show that view again. So let's go back into most popular. Obviously, there's lots of different search engines that you can use. Uh, list, info wall, landscape, showcase. Again, my fucking internet is shocking, guys. Sorry. Okay, so before you see me load up Guardians of the Galaxy, let's actually load up Fast and Furious 7, but this time, instead of giving me a list, it should just load straight into that game. However, bear in mind, people, my internet is shocking, so it may either take a lot of time or <laughs> just fucking buffer. <laughs> with you guys, again, with, you know, decent internet, it should just load straight into the movie without any fucking round. Because I've got shit internet, it has to go through each one and decide, no, it's not going to play from that one, move on to the next one, and so on and so forth, until it actually finds a stream that is working for me. Because my internet is so slow, it takes a long and tedious time to do that. However, by enabling the autoplay, it doesn't mean that I have to go through all the ones myself manually and choose the one that's working. So now as you can see it's found one, so we're loading up. However, it's found again one that's you know higher quality than what my internet can handle. So as you can see down the bottom, it's buffering like fuck. But you know, you go in there, you tweak it as much as you want, tweak it to your setup. Uh, most of it, again, like I said, it, everyone's got the same uh, um, computer that they're running off, they're all running off a retro pi, uh, sorry, a raspberry pi, and it can all handle this kind of stuff, it all depends on your internet at this moment, for getting these movies set up. Right, so let's come out of there, and that's your movies. Go into Genesis. Again, same routine with the TV shows. It does exactly the same thing. I don't want to not like these standard views. Basically, you go in there, you pick your theme, whatever you like to go with. You pick the, your layout and everything as you go along. It takes you, you know, a day or two to get all this sorted and look in the way you like it. But um, yeah, you know. Again, let's go into people watching. So these should now be a list of all the TV shows that are available. To be honest, like I said, if it's if you got a movie released on the internet somewhere, which is basically every movie ever made, or if you've got a TV show on the internet somewhere, which is again, which is basically every TV show ever released, then it will be available on uh, on here because it it really does um, find everything. So as you can see, again, my internet, fucking shocking. Let's let it load up a bit, catch up on itself. It does cache all the images as well, so even if you've got shit internet like me, once you've set it up once, um, it does use the same art again, so you don't have to go through the rigmarole of waiting for it all to load up again and again and again each time you go into it. So it does become very instinctive the more you actually use this. I mean, I keep my Raspberry Pi on 24-7, so to be honest, I like the way it works and it downloads the updates all the time and all that kind of good stuff. It takes care of itself. Um, and as you can see, all the latest um, TV shows, you can look at all the seasons all the way back to, you know, the first ever one released. And also, if you go back to the beginning, uh, you can actually put in a search and, I don't know, let's look for something, shall we? Uh, let's have a look for a TV show. Uh, what should we look for? X-Files popular but old. Let's see if it finds it. Should do because it's got fucking everything in this thing. Oh, there's Fast and Furious 7 loaded in the background by the way. <laughs> it finally buffered. There you go and the X-Files there. So basically I can go into the X-Files, I can do season 1 all the way down to uh, what, how many did they make? Season 9. Same with everyone ever made. 
And as you can see, that is the uh, well Genesis sorted out. So let's have a look. Add-ons. Come out of here. Come out of here. We've got the movie sorted out. We've got the TV sorted out. You know how to search. Now. How the fuck do I stop this from now playing? Come on. Because I've not got my uh, normal theme loaded up, I don't know if this is working properly, so I can't stop the fucking film in the background. Ah, oh, there we go. Last. Right, so as I was saying, um, we've got the TV show sorted, we've got the movie sorted. You have to develop your own kind of layout, whatever you like. First go for your theme, find a theme that works well with you. Then go into working all your um, apps and stuff and the way this is all laid out to the way you like it. Now, something that I like to do is, when you come in here... When you uh, load up... Um, Cody or XBMC, you'll be greeted with a, a load of menus like this. I mean, most of these shit I don't even want to bother with. Pictures, who the fuck watches pictures on a, you know, thingy? If I want to look at pictures or somebody else's pictures, I'll go onto Facebook. Nobody wants to look at fucking pictures. Unless, of course, you're a photographer, then you may have a use for it. Concerts, what the fuck? Get out of my life. All these uh, stuff I don't want to mess around with. Uh, sorry, I don't not mess around with, but I don't want on my main menu. So if you go over to system again, um, appearance, uh, where's it going? Skin, skin settings. Basically, you can go into all kinds of stuff here. One of them will be uh, sort out the main menu. You can add. Uh, and take away so basically I don't let's say for example I don't want my music oh yeah I do because I'll add that in a bit uh, TV shows I don't want to add that, add that I don't want live TV even though we will be adding it but not on this menu because I have, uh, not in this video because you have been taking the time being so shit at all this uh, custom ones ain't enabled anyway videos apps system power I don't want power to be enabled because it's running through a pie Weather, not interested. Definitely don't want concerts because that's fucking dog shit label to have for a main menu. Now, what I can do is I can tweak these by um, going to my. Say if there's something that you want to go straight into, you know, you're not asked about, I don't know, apps. For example, you can make a new main header. Find something that you like from whatever add-ons you've got, and make a shortcut to it. So basically, I've got my um, movies. So what I can do is, I can use the mouse, hover over that, and I can put add to favorites. So now, when I come out of here, uh, exit out of here go over to system again appearance um, Aeon not settings uh, set up the Aeon Lux main menu and I can go to movies I do want that enabled uh, background can be So now, basically, when I click on movies from the main menu, instead of just going to some random fucking thing somewhere, what I've done is, I've um, set it so it goes straight into Genesis and the movie section, so it bypasses all the fucking bullshit of me choosing uh, apps and all that kind of stuff, and I can actually rename this to, I don't know, uh, Late. 
Because I can go one stage further and then go into HD movies within Genesis and then label that as a favourite and then, you know, I can put that as HD movies or cinema movies, all that kind of stuff. Then I can choose the TV shows thread and then I can label that as TV shows. And it's just a case of, you know, organising this the way you want it to. So now, hopefully, when I go over to movies, if I can find it, our latest movies it should go straight to Genesis and the movies and there you go I'm straight in there so now I can you know I can even go one stage further like I said and I don't know what's in the theatres I can add that as a favourite and then I can set up the main menu that way same with TV shows and stuff like that so basically what I've shown you in the fucking most long winded <laughs> <laughs> unorganized fashion you could ever think possible uh, hats off if you actually make sense of anything in this video but it has been a while and I have shown you how to get movies working um, I'm gonna leave it here because to be honest I've shown you how to get movies sorted you will get yourself set up in some kind of fashion but what we are going to do is start to edit things <laughs> so it looks a lot better um, bring in more apps next time I want to actually give you the TV guide so you get every um, live TV channel from around the world and no matter what it is or where it is and then the next one I'm going to be showing you most probably will be the music once I've got all that sorted then I think we'll start going into tweaking this and actually making it all look good but I want to give you the opportunity now to actually get used to Cody um, find out what kind of theme works for you because some themes actually look really good but the functionality of them are fucking dog shit um, and vice versa some of them look terrible but there's loads of functionality in them so again it, you know read reviews on different types of themes for Cody and XBMC uh, install loads if you want just go through and try don't be afraid of trying and messing around get rid of all the fucking junk that you don't like in here and remap it to actually apps and uh, shortcuts that actually suit you rather than you know the bog standard shite that it gives you in the first place so there you go guys um, that's your movie sorted so look forward to the next video which will be um, getting TV channels Make sure you like, subscribe, all the same shit as people normally do. And if you want to be a best mate in the world ever, give me a share. Share this video. Okay then guys, thank you very much. My apologies for being so unorganized on this video. But I just wanted to give you something, you know, to keep you moving along and ticking along with this kind of stuff. I've been very busy lately. And my heart bleeds for you all. <laughs> Catch you later guys. Bye now.